up in the garden and we use just raw milk. We don't pasteurize the milk. And this is the milk from yesterday. Okay. So the milk is heated up to 36 degrees and then we put the drainage, the enzyme into the milk. The milk they calculate and after one hour we have to cut. The cut is that that you see here on the steel table to the left. Stay over there for about four hours because the must drain all the water that must go outside. Then we take on this curd and put on this curd in this machine to dry it. The machine cut the curd in small pieces and the small pieces go then in the boiling water. 100 degrees Celsius must be the water. Because with the boiling water, the fat contains, they melt and the dough they both then very smooth and very elastic and you can start then to give them the size of the cheese. And this that that you see here, this is the last step then. It's a hand work, no gloves. If they use any gloves, they stick to the gloves. It's really a hard job. <coughs> and they use here cold water. And we have then two people that you put on the dough immediately in this cold water. And we have only one man that is staying off the other side that they cut and give them the size of the cheese. And they start then to make the small one, the bocconcini. Bocconcini is about 56 grams each. Then you have mozzarella, 200 grams each. This is a cut of a curd that you make on here. I'm starting to make another elastic though. And then you have also a special it's size, and it was the great hmm? of Italian La Triccia. Italian people, if they have any guests at home, it's just for the presentation, it's nice to see. Hmm? We make all by hand, okay? And when they cut, we say that of Italian mozzare. The name mozzarella came from cutting by hand. Mozzare, mozzatura, mozzarella. Okay. 